Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Nomads of the Fallen Star. For those of you joining me for the first time ever, my name is Sabouts and for those of you returning to my channel for another series, I'd like to welcome you back. Now, Nomads of the Fallen Star uh, takes a lot of inspiration from games like uh, Mountain Blade Warband, uh, a little bit of inspiration from Fallout 1 and Fallout 2. There's a couple of other things that are tied to this game that the developer has drawn inspiration from. Now, this is an early access game. It's releasing on Steam on January 3rd. January 30th of 2019 and uh, we're going to be checking it out, see what it's all about. So I've already played the game a little bit. There is a tutorial and a couple of other things and, and uh, I've jumped into it, but uh, we're going to actually override my game that I'm currently playing so that we can check it out and play a new game. So first thing to know is the map is kind of cool, right? So there's like this almost like water paint or like watercolor sort of vibe going on with the, the world map, right? So this is our character here. It says, As night falls, the once hot desert wasteland quickly turns frigid on this world. Cold winds beyond the mountains descend to form dew on the tall rocks scattered among the sandy landscape. A small fire glows beneath a rock shelter where several, fi several figures are huddled. The rising smoke and steam carry the scent of dried meats boiling in a hearty soup. Varon, an old mercenary, stirs the pot and looks curiously at the new squad member, Iona. So, Iona, you're the first mercenary I've met out here in the wasteland that works for free. What's the deal? I needed to leave Derelict City, but none of the other scavenger gangs wanted me on their squad. I <laughs> can't blame them, though. Just look at you, a small girl looking to run from home for an adventure. I'm not running. I'm searching for something important, something I can only find by traveling out here. What's so important that you had to leave the safety of Derelict City? My parents went missing not long ago. DC officials claim they died in a raided, raider ambush, but I don't believe that. Kiddo, I don't mean to offend, but out here, raiders are a threat, and there's other things that will kill you without hesitation. My mother was a lead scientist. She would never leave DC without guards. No raiders would dare to attack her. Let's say you're right. How do you plan to find them? My mother left a data crystal, but it's encrypted. I've tried my best to decipher it, but I could only access the first layer. She wanted me to find someone called Tinker, and I think I finally found the possible location. Now look, all we've done out here are petty caravan escort jobs for low pays. So before we run off on some wild adventure, we should be making big money and making a name for ourselves. We don't have to prioritize chasing my leads, but if we're near Ember Lake, stop by so I can do some digging. Both of them look to you for the final decision. You tell Iona that we'll do our best to help her, but Varon is right. We must first work towards a solid footing. Understood, Iona said with a nod. Meanwhile, Varon finishes the bowl of soup and chimes in. If it's money we're after, trade runs should be our focus. However, for Renown, uh, Renown we have to take missions in town, and that may involve combat. Pack up camp and let's go. So just to tip, good trade routes or resources from outposts of towns. For example, Xenium from Crystal Ridge to Junk Town. So you can do Xenium from Crystal Ridge down here to Junk Town, which are these locations off to the side. So yeah, the game is definitely early access. There's a lot of things that are uh, missing or features. There's bugs and such. Well, the developer's been pretty hard work at it. He has two other games he's developed as well. Um, so he's, you know, it's not his first day doing games. But you uh, go ahead and you click and move similar to how you might in Mountain Blade Warband. Or uh, there's a couple other games that are set up in this sort of format. And we're just kind of moving along the map. There is other factions in the game. There you go. And you can see them moving around as well. Militias. There's going to be um, enemies and stuff. Um, on the uh, map as well that you might run into and have to do combat. Up in the top, you can see are some of the starting stuff we've got. We've started with a little bit of food, some purified water. We've got Zen, which is essentially uh, a currency. We've got some small munitions uh, bullets and some large munitions bullets. So like more like small arms fire lar uh, and like long rifles and such. And we got some repair tools, which are used to repair damaged weapons, armor, and shields over time. So we're going to take our 800 Zen here. We're going to go to Crystal Ridge. We're going to buy Zenium ores, and we're going to try to take it to Junk Town and see if we can sell it and make a little bit of a profit here. So the squad reach a small outpost and are greeted by a lone guard on duty. The locals nearby acknowledge our arrival with a neutral indifference, though some seem curious at the potential for trade. So we'll host, holster our weapons and enter peacefully. There's all sorts of different stuff you can do, though. Hey, let's put these newly acquired skill points to use. We've got skill points? I didn't even know. Um, 
I'll get into that in a second. So let's go ahead and grab some Zenium ore. It's going for 40 a piece. We can get a pretty good chunk of it. So we'll buy that and we'll just go ahead and leave and head straight to junk town. Meanwhile, if you go into comms here, oh, I kind of wish it ran in the background. You could do stuff. Um, you can see there's a couple different things. You've got an active mission log and a communication log. It says day one, Red Cliff has a major fuel cell shortage reward on offer for trade completion. So you can take advantage of certain things that will, uh, certain towns will have trade shortages and you can take advantage of those to get additional money. If you go to squad, you can see your squad here, the weapons and gear they're carrying and uh, the stuff that we're actually carrying with us. Uh, so we've got Varen here. He's more of a melee type guy and he's got melee skill points. And then we've got Iona. She handles um, a long rifle. So she does mainly sniping and such, but she's also got a firebomb and a pipe bomb uh, that she could use as well. So we've actually got some skill points here. We've got 10 skill points and uh, Varen's got six and we could drop them in any, any of these skills here. Uh, since Varon here is going to be our melee guy, and, and most importantly, he'll probably end up being our tanking guy, we'll actually drop some of this into dodge and defense. Iona, she's got a long rifle. She's going to be our main shooty person. And so we'll actually drop a bunch of it into firearm and some of it into sniping, like so. And down here, you can see um, their mood and everything, if they're content, they get content if they've been uh, paid and they're not hungry and they're not thirsty and etc. then uh, that's that. Different items here we could buy over time and get and utilize. All sorts of diff uh, different stuff that could be useful. Here we can view uh, a crafting menu. You can actually craft certain things in the game. I haven't messed much with this yet, so... Over here, we actually got a weapon inventory. We don't have any weapons we're carrying now. Both of our squad members are equipped. Same with armor. And then there's perks. Uh, perks are pretty cool because you can actually go down this perk list. Um, I'm guessing this is probably going to get a remodel because it's definitely pretty rough right now. I'll say that this will probably look a lot cleaner in the future. But eventually, you can go down certain perk uh, areas or grab up certain perks at certain levels. And uh, that'll make you be able to specialize in various things. Uh, we're both of our characters are level one right now, so we're not worried about perks. And here's a, a short list here to the crafting menu. So you can see that like munitions is fire sand, refined metal, etc., uh, etc. Et and it'll let the person who can craft it with an, has an optimal crafting level to craft this stuff is the one that'll be crafted, crafting it. You can see it down at the bottom there, optimal level 30 Iona. So she's the most optimum out of our group versus Varen to be able to craft. All right, so let's move into Junk Town. You actually speed it up here. Now, first things first, you're going to want to go around and make money. And then um, do the main quest after that. So, host our weapons, enter peacefully. So, we bought this for 40 We could sell it here for 59 So, we'll be able to turn a little bit of a profit. Actually, pretty good profit. Um, at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and buy us some rations so we definitely don't run out. Don't need a whole lot right now because we don't have a whole lot of party members. So we'll buy eight rations and eight purified water. Um, munitions and everything we are good on. And we'll keep the repair tools on us. All right. And so we had a mission as well pop up here. So we've got a couple missions. We've got probing the wasteland. Our security depends on early detection of incoming threats, and there's always a shortage of eyes on the ground. Place a vid link probe at the designated location and return for your reward. We'll get 400 for that. Um, and internal security, the merchant guild is seeking a mercenary group to patrol several designated waypoints to the tier raiders in the area. Return once done for payment. That gives us 350. So let's go ahead and take that, actually, because that'll be pretty easy. We'll get to 350. So we can actually go to comms now, see the mission pops up. Contract from the merchant guild. We are to patrol several areas of interest. Our presence should deter raiders from attacking passing caravans. So it wants us to actually go over here. I think that's the only area. No, it actually wants us to do down there too. And it's very possible there's only two areas though. It's very possible that we could run into raiders while we're doing this. Uh, most importantly, you might run into Xeno Beasts. Now, Xeno Beast actually, let's see, the squad has reached on the designated waypoints. Internal security takes some time to rest for a moment, prepare for the journey ahead. All right. 
Uh, Xeno beasts are like creatures in the game. They're basically like fauna of the planet, and they will mess you up pretty bad. If you spot hostiles inside the fighter, flee quickly and do it. Yeah, see. You'll get different people as you pass them. They'll have conversations with you or give you tips and tricks and such. Yeah, my practice runs. Xeno beasts are no joke. They will literally wreck your day. And they can they can travel in fairly large packs. There's another waypoint? I didn't think that there was one. That's the f fuel cell shortage is all the way down there. I don't see any other waypoints, so I think we can go back and get paid. Then we could probably take the vid link one next. There might be one up here and I'm just not seeing it. And you can work with any faction. I think it's totally just a preference squad let's see let's take this one next um, I don't think that I actually completed the other one I've noticed that sometimes sometimes these missions glitch really bad For whatever reason, they either won't show you, which that's early access, right? They either won't show you where there's certain things or the places you have to get to are inaccessible. There's a couple of different things I've noticed uh, that I had happen in my practice run. So probing the wasteland. Is that which one's that? So this is placing the vid link. Right, so I actually had this pop up once inside here and I couldn't actually get to it at all. So that does happen. What is that? Resupply something. See, because I'm not seeing where it wants me to do more patrolling. One of these actually sells fuel cells primarily. Uh, Junker Syndicate, Stormvale, I believe it's Doom Pit. No, it's not. It's Ember Lake. Yeah, they import fuel cells. Let's see. A semi-functional lab outpost. No, Doom Pit or mining outpost. They actually import fuel cells so we could grab some here if we wanted to. The no available missions, but fuel cells, they've only got nine of them. They're going for 82. That seems like a lot. Um, I can buy all nine. We can see if we can sell them and make a profit somewhere. I should probably go up and grab my money though for doing that mission. I don't see where it is to do that other mission so I might just have to cancel it and eat unless it's up here north. It might be up to the north. I can always sell the fuel cells anywhere else. Okay, so we got paid. Data delivery. We have an operative deep in the rival faction that is expecting a mission update. Bring a data crystal to the designated location and give it to our agent. She would be waiting there. 450. So we'll take that. You always generally want to buy trade goods if you're heading any place. Buy them and bring, you with you, uh, bring them with you so you can sell them. Or at least take a mission. One or the other. It doesn't have to always be both. Yeah, right there is the other one. So it actually did pop up. It's just way up north. So we'll go up and try and complete that. We may already be out of time. Oh, no. It says it expires in two more turns. I'm assuming that's day cycles here. We're on day four right now. Let's go ahead and speed up. The scrapyard probably buys fuel cells. Oh, you know what? I might have messed that up. I might have bought 
fuel cells in an area that doesn't buy them versus selling. So this place actually exports fuel cells. So they should be cheaper here. We'll double check it now. Yeah, they're 53. I bought these for 89. So I kind of boned myself there a little bit, but we'll get rid of them. There's other places you can sell goods that are worth, you know, that's worth a lot. So let's go ahead and definitely get this finished up. They have a fire sand shortage. All right, we got to head back to town though. Junk Town might buy fuel cells too. I didn't even check. Uh, Crystal Ridge as well. They import fuel cells. So we could actually buy more fuel cells in Scrapyard and take them with us to Crystal Ridge. We've got the money to do it, so we might as well do it. And we're fine on rations till we make it to Crystal Ridge. So let's buy these and take them with us. We'll see if we turn over uh, a difference here. We've only got one more turn, so we got to hurry up and get to back to Junk Town so we can get our money. And then we can go complete the other mission. All right. Let's see if we can sell this stuff. So 80. So we will lose a little bit of money, but we'll make up the difference on the ones that we bought for 50. Nine, so we probably came pretty close to breaking even. Um, let's definitely get some more ore here and bring it with us as we head down. Down to Junk Town here. All right. Let's sell our ore. Nice. That is a pretty good profit. And then we got paid as well. So we got a good deal of money now. Let's buy a little bit more. Buy 14 of those and 14 of this. All right. And we're going to go ahead and cut the episode off here. That shows you a little bit about Nomad uh, of the Fallen Star. Uh, we're not done yet, though. We're going to play some more of it in the next episode. Um, we'll probably go ahead and complete a few more quests, try to build up some more money. I'd like to get um, some more rations and water. And then I think what we'll do is we'll try and maybe hit up some of these resupply mission areas so we can make uh, some really big money doing that. And then we'll probably right here is where we got to go to complete or at least start the main quest. And we'll probably go down there and start that as well uh, in the next episode. So let me know down below in the comment section what you think um, of the game. It's pretty cool definitely find it unique if you want to find a link to the page you can go down below in the description of any of my videos uh, to do with the game there'll be a link down there you can check it out and then uh yeah so i want to thank you all for joining me i do hope that you've enjoyed it i look forward to seeing you next time